We're here in Cape Canaveral, Florida to carry out some field research on the biology of manta rays. These extraordinary animals, they're one of the largest fish in the ocean, uh, can be more than 20 feet across and we're here to study the risk that they face from offshore energy activities off the coast of the United States. We're working with the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management and people from Shedd Aquarium. And with any luck, we'll get out there today and see some manta rays and be able to begin our research. The Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, or BOEM, is the federal agency that oversees offshore energy and mineral development. So everything from offshore oil and gas in the Gulf of Mexico or off the south of California, uh, renewable energy off the Atlantic, or sand and gravel for things like beach renourishment or rebuilding wetlands and things like that. We've actually been here since the 19th and it is now I think the 25th and we're getting our first day on the water. So it's a lot of moving pieces. We have to have a lot of stars aligned for us to be able to go out. Um, so we need a certain sea state, but we've been hoping for a good weather window and I think the next few days are gonna be pretty positive for us, but it's kind of the downside to field work is you cannot force everything and you kind of have to be flexible and see how things go. We like to say that biology is messy, uh, and that's never more true than when you're trying to conduct field research. You need uh, the animals to cooperate, and you need the weather to cooperate, and then if you have all of that in line, and you have the right partners, and the right equipment, and the right scientific plan, uh, you can succeed in field research. We've gotten some good information from some of our partners in the area, and our aerial support team over the last few days that there are some mantas in the area, so we're keeping our fingers crossed that today is a good day, and we get to finally get some hands on an animal. Today, working with our partners at the Georgia Aquarium and some local captains, we were actually successful and able to, uh, to get out there and get a tag on a manta ray. We don't get any of our research done without key field partners. Everybody brings to these collaborations unique skills. We have skills from the aquarium in taking care of manta rays. The Bureau knows what's what off the coast here. Uh, and our friends at Shedd Aquarium also have a tremendous amount of experience working with animals like these. So working together, we can uh, conduct these kinds of research with the best chance of success. Well, I think the best part of having a collaboration like this is that you're stronger with more people. So the more scientists you have, the fact that we can pull on our resources, like our Fish and Invert team that's able to come out into the field with us, we're able to put the pieces together to have this larger puzzle that's stronger and hopefully get better data so that that can help with the long-term information and conservation of this species.